Morning, everybody. I hope you've had a lovely weekend. Um, last week, we looked at maths um, and we did a lot of subtraction work. So we looked at taking away ones, we looked at taking away multiples of 10 and looked at how that affected each digit in the number. Um, and then we used all of that all together to have a look at how to take away any two digit number using our concrete apparatus, our deans. We used the 100 square, we used our jottings and we used empty number lines. So um, today, what I want to do is to put all of that learning to the test, and we're going to use those methods now to help us to solve some problems. So I just wanted to go through one with you, and then I'm going to post um, a sheet of different ones for you to work on um, that you can send in on your portfolio. So my problem this morning is Mr. Heeson collected 56 marbles. He gave 25 of them away to Miss Wright because he's very, very kind. So how many marbles does he have left? So what we've got to do first of all is think what calculation um, we've got to do to help us to find this out. So the clues are that Mr. Heeson started with 56, but he's going to give away 25. So does that mean he's going to have more marbles or less marbles? Well, of course, if he's going to give 25 of them away to Miss Wright, he's going to have less, which tells us that it's going to be a subtraction sentence. So we're going to have 56 marbles take away the 25 that Mr. Heeson is going to give to Miss Wright. So that's the calculation that we're going to do today. And th so then we will just do it in exactly the same way as we've done with all of our taking away work last week. So I'm going to start with the biggest number, which is 56. And I can see that 56 has got five tens and it's got six ones. OK, so I'm going to make 56 with my deans, just like we did last week. So I've got on there. I'm just going to stop the board from wobbling. 10, 20, 30. 40, 50. So there we go. We've got our five tens on there. And now I've got to add my six ones. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. 56 okay so then i'm going to have a little look at 25 because that's the number that i've got to take away and i can see that 25 has got two tens and it's got five ones so the first thing i'm going to do is take away the two tens which is 20. so 10 20 and that leaves me with three tens so it's going to be a 30s number and then i've got to take away five ones so one two Three, four, five. There we go. And that leaves us with 10, 20, 30, and one more, which is 31. You can also do that with your jottings. Um, so I'm going to start with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. And then I'm going to take away that 25, just like I did with the Deans. I'm just going to cross them out this time. So 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And that leaves me up with the 30 and one more. So it's still 31. Um, and then last but not least, because we do like to prove this in lots of different ways when we've had our lessons with Penny the Parrot. I wonder, children, if you could tell your mums and dads about Penny the Parrot. Let's do a number line. So I'm going to start with 56 here. Now, when I was looking in your portfolios um, last week, children, some of you, you're doing absolutely excellent maths, all of you. Um, but just remember, because some of you did forget, that when you do um, a subtraction calculation, you always start at the other end of your number line and work backwards, just like we do when we're counting um, on a number track or on a ruler or on the 100 square. Because when we count back, the numbers are getting less. 
So the first thing I'm going to do then is take away the tens. So this time I'm going to show, look, 10, 20. I'm going to put that on there like this, okay? Now I'm going to look at this number, 56. If I'm taking away a 10, that one, uh, sorry, those ones, the six is going to stay the same and the five is going to change. So one less 10 is going to be 46. And then again, the six is going to stay the same and the four tens is going to change this time because we're taking away a 10. So taking away another 10 is 36, look. I did have four tens, but I took one away and that gave me three tens. Now I'm going to take away the five ones. So one, two, three, four, five. Always remember as well, children, to write on your numbers and what you're calculating on each jump so that people can see your method and how you've calculated your answer. It also helps you because if you make a mistake, you'll be able to go back and check where you've gone wrong quite easily. Right, so starting at 36, we're now going to count back in ones. So 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. And the answer is still 31. So I'm going to give you all um, a set of word problems that you can have a go at. See if you can work them out and then prove it to Miss Eckett using all of these jottings. Now, I know some children at home um, haven't wanted to use the jottings or the number line because they've wanted to work it out in their head. And children, if you work it out in your head and you're able to do that, that's absolutely fine. But a good mathematician always checks their work and so what I want you to do if you want to do it in your head that's absolutely fine but I want you still to prove it and check your answers by using these two written methods okay um, I hope you get on all right I look forward to seeing your work on the dojo um, please also look out for another challenge because if you finished all of these word problems I've got something else up my sleeve ready for you okay so take care everybody bye bye